Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the alarms on board. So fasten your seatbelt and let's go. Emergency signals and alarm can help us to tackle a crisis or to avoid an emergency situation. Emergency signals and alarms are installed over the vessel, various system and machinery to notify the crew about the dangerous situation that can be arise due to different type of an emergencies on board. It depends of an emergencies on the vessel. We have different types of alarm, like general alarm, fire alarm, man overboard alarm, abandoned ship alarm, ship security alert system, machinery space CO2 alarm. General alarm sounds like seven short ring of the bell followed by a long ring or using the ship horn signal of a seven short blast followed by one long blast. Action to be taken by the crew if general alarm is sounded. Proceed to the designed master station. Listen to the announcement for the type of emergency which is leading to the general alarm on a vessel. The crew member must regroup as per the squad and take the corrective action to tackle the situation as per the master plan. When is fire detected on the vessel by crew, he or she should raise the alarm signal on board by pressing the nearest fire switch or by loudly and continuously shout fire, fire, fire. The fire signal on the vessel must be a continuous blast of the whistle or electrical bell for not less than 10 seconds. However, in most of the vessels, the fire signal is running continuously on the alarm bell. Action to be taken by crew. Proceed to the fire station. Confirm the location of the fire. Perform the duty listed in the master list as per the team assignment. There have been many situations when a crew working on the ship side or a passenger in the cruise ship fell in the water at high sea. When a man fell overboard, the man overboard alarm sound signal is activated on the ship. The man overboard alarm signal comprises of vessel's internal alarm bell for three long rings to notify the crew and three long blasts of ship whistle to inform the other vessels nearby. Action to be taken by crew. Shout the man overboard to alert the crew through the live buoy and mark the man overboard with a smoke flyer. Keep pointing. Don't lose visual contact with the man overboard. The alarm sounded is similar to a general alarm, and everybody comes to the emergency master station. Master or his substitute chief officer gives a verbal order to abandon ship. Action to be taken by the crew. Carry your life jacket or emergency suit to the designed master station. Carry any additional item like blanket or water, as stated under the duty in the master list. Wait for the master order for abandon ship. According to the SOLAS, all vessels shall be provided with the Ship Security Alert System. The Ship Security Alert System, short SAS, is a silent alarm system sounded in the pirate attack. When the SAS is activated, no alarm is sounded on board. SAS is operating via global satellite system to inform about the piracy. Engine room is fitted with the CO2 fixed fire extinguishing system. The alarm should activate upon the opening the release cabinet door 
which is used to open and release the CO2 bottles. Action to be taken by crew. In case of CO2 alarm sounded, immediately escape engine room space. I hope it was useful information for you. In case you need any additional information about that, write down in the comments or send me a message on my mail. Thanks for watching me. See you next video.